Good morning, everyone. So today we will continue with our discussion of optical isomerism. In the previous class, we tried to define what do we mean by optical isomerism, uh, according to which uh, we defined optical isomerism to be a phenomena in which stereo isomers are able to rotate the polarized light by a certain angle. So such phenomenon of optical isomerism is actually shown only by molecules which possess the property of chirality that is non-superimposability of the mirror image. In organic molecules, chirality could be exhibited only by cleaving molecules. That means those molecules which have a uh, which can spread over the three-dimensional uh, space. Okay. So such three-dimensional shape is possible only in case of saturated molecules because uh, when we started with our discussion on the basics of organic chemistry I talked about alkene, alkene and alkyne where alkenes are a kind of a two-dimensional structure and alkynes are a kind of linear structure. So they both do not have a three-dimensional uh, spread over the uh, space. So that means the only uh, left uh, type of molecule is the saturated molecules. And we know that in organic molecule, uh, the uh, saturated system uh, in that carbon atom will have a hybridization of sp3. And sp3 is nothing but a tetrahedral shape. Okay, so what we are going to today see is how to represent a 3D structure because every time you cannot use a, a model in order to understand the 3D uh, spread over the space. So we require some kind of uh, a, uh, some kind of way to represent a three-dimensional object or a molecule on a two-dimensional plane. Okay, so how do we do that? For representation of a 3D on a two-dimensional plane, we use two different formulas, and that is perspective formula, one is the perspective formula, another is your Fisher projection formula. These are the two formulas that we are going to learn how to draw uh, so that we can easily represent a three dimension on a two dimensional plane. So we are going to learn today how we are going to draw it. Okay. So let's start with our simplest molecule and that is your methane, the major component of your compressed natural gas that is your CNG. So when you usually till now when you have been drawing you drew uh, the methane molecule like something like this. Okay. But in actual if you ask me whether this is a correct way of representing a methane molecule then I would say that it is a wrong way. If you want to represent your methane molecule something like this then you probably have to show its three-dimensional effect. That is, these form the vertices of a regular tetrahedron. Okay, so if you draw a tetrahedron, okay, in this and then you show the structure, then probably we can imagine that this carbon is at the center of the tetrahedron and in each of the vertices of the tetrahedron you have the hydrogen atom. Then I can imagine uh, this to be a tetrahedral structure that means this is having a three dimensional uh, spread over the space. Okay, So just by simply drawing the lines, four lines attached with hydrogen over the carbon uh, doesn't mean. Okay, so how do we try to draw, uh, every time to draw a, a tetrahedron around uh, uh, around this uh, carbon atom won't be such an easy job and uh, if we have many uh, complicated substituent attacks apart from the hydrogen then there can be more complication to draw a tetrahedron every time. So we require to make it this more simpler. Okay. For that purpose we will start with uh, how to draw the perspective form. Now, in perspective formula, usually you have a, a like, if you draw a simple line like this, 
Okay, just simple line. You know that line what you get that. What do you mean by that? It means it represents the bonds on the writing plane. That means on the plane of the board. Suppose this is my writing plane, that is the board. On that, if I draw like this, that represents the bonds that are on the plane of the board. Another type of uh, way of representing the bond is solid bench. Okay, solid bench is nothing but if you draw something like this with a shading like this. Okay, then that represents the solid. So solid bench represents bonds that are above the plane of the board. Okay. Then another type of bonding is your dash wedge. Dash wedge is nothing but if you draw the bond something like this, then those represent the dash bonds. Okay, dash bonds represent those bonds that are below the plane of the board. Okay, and the point of intersection of all these bonds is what you call as the uh, carbon center. The carbon is represented by the point of intersection of all these lines. Okay. So let us look into uh, using this uh, these uh, particular bonds how we draw the uh, molecule. Okay. We are going to look now into that particular thing. Okay. So if uh, we are talking about methane molecule. So I have here a model of methane molecule. So this is the carbon with all the four hydrogen atoms attached to it in a tetrahedral fashion. Okay. Now I am going to represent this methane molecule on a uh, uh, using a perspective formula using the lines, solid wedge, and the dash box. Okay. So in perspective formula, the lines represent the bonds which are on the plane of the, uh, on the writing plane and uh, solid wedge represents the bonds that are above the plane and dash wedge uh, represents the bonds that are below the plane. Okay. So, if I place my molecule something like this, okay, and suppose this is the plane over which uh, these two hydrogens are contained, okay. So, if you place a plane uh, somewhere passing through this, um, CH bond and passing through this CH bond, something like that, if you place a white sheet like this, so uh, that these two bonds are kind of on the writing plane. Okay, so these two bonds are on the writing plane. If these two bonds are on the writing plane, one of the hydrogen here is above the plane and one of the hydrogen here is below the plane. So that is why I drew now a perspective formula in which I have drawn uh, two hydrogens on the writing plane and one hydrogen is coming out and one hydrogen is going down. I represent it with a dash mark. Same thing I can represent in another fashion. Suppose If you see this, now how you can view the two hydrogens here are on the writing plane. Suppose this is the plane of writing my hands. Okay, on this writing plane, I have these two CH bonds. If that is the case, if these two bonds, that these this CH bond and this CH bond are on the plane of uh, are on the writing plane, then one of the hydrogen is coming out. And one of the hydrogen is going inside the writing plane. So that is why I showed one of the hydrogen as solid wedge, which is coming above the plane, and one of the hydrogen, which is a wedge, which is going inside the plane. So another way of representing uh, using these lines and wedges is that if I represent my molecule something like this. Now here I did not use any lines, only what I have used is the solid wedge and the dash wedge. Can you visualize now how this 3D dimension should be looking like? 
So uh, here the two hydrogens are above the writing plane. Okay, so I should be placing my writing plane somewhere passing through the middle of this. Okay, middle of this, and then you can see the two hydrogens are on the front of the writing plane, and the two hydrogens are pointing behind the writing. Plane. Okay, so that is why I the two vertical bonds, vertical CH bonds are pointing back side. And two horizontal CH bonds are pointing towards the front side. So you can hold the molecule like this, and you will see this particular diagram clearly visible in the three dimensional figure. So, what I would like you to do is uh, get hold of some matchsticks and uh, try to make a tetrahedral structure like this. Okay? And then try to visualize these uh, diagrams uh, yourself. Okay. So I'll continue with the uh, drawing of these particular thing, uh, uh, other molecules also in the coming lecture. So just concentrate on the perspective formula and uh, try to understand these two way of representing using wedges, uh, using solid wedges uh, or lines, okay, whatever way you, uh, you imagine. Try to draw the methane molecule and try to visualize these 2D representation correlated with the three dimensional model. So, get hold of some matchsticks, four matchstick, and try to make a tetrahedral structure like this, and then try to uh, visualize this and make this. So, this is your work for today. Uh, make the methane structure and the corresponding perspective formula. So today we only look into the perspective formula, the simplest one is methane. This perspective formula is also called by another name called the Plein Wedge Formula. Plein Wedge Formula, Flying Wedge Formula or they are also called as Wedge Dash Formulas. Okay, so just practice over this. We are going to uh, in the next video, I'll be discussing about how to draw these structures as well. Once we are through with this perspective formula, we will go directly to the Fisher perspective formula. So, thank you very much for your uh, patience listening.